Hi, I'm Megan. Welcome to VW Basics. Did you know that in addition to regularly checking your engine's motor oil level that you can also check other fluids underneath the hood of your Volkswagen as part of your preventative maintenance schedule? You can. It's really easy, you can do it at home, and it won't take more than a few minutes of your time. There are a few fluids we're going to be checking out today on this Volkswagen Jetta, but before I do that, there are a couple things I want to have in place. First and foremost, please make sure that your vehicle's ignition is turned off. You'll also want to have the car parked on level ground, and you also will have wanted to have referred to your owner's manual section on maintaining your Volkswagen to check the policies and procedures for when you need, the, when you need to bring the car into the dealership for regularly scheduled maintenance. But while you're at home and you're checking these fluids, the first thing you can actually take a look at is the brake fluid level. Now the brake fluid reservoir is located towards the far back of the engine bay and there's a yellow cap with a little symbol on there, it looks like a circle with two half circles on either side and that's your brake fluid reservoir. Now by viewing it this way, as I am right now, you can see a maximum level and a minimum level. Now as long as the brake fluid falls between those two lines, you've got plenty of brake fluid to get you down the road. Next fluid we'll take a look at is the coolant. The coolant is this globe-shaped reservoir that's located on the far side of the engine bay here. Now once again, there's an easily identifiable minimum and maximum level here, just like with your brake fluid, as long as that coolant, which is pink in color, is between the minimum and the maximum line, plenty of coolant, no problem. If the coolant level on your Volkswagen is low, it's important that you visit your local Volkswagen dealership's parts department, as Volkswagen's required coolant is available at the dealership. One other thing I'm going to check is the windshield washer fluid, but before I get to that, you may be wondering, why haven't I checked the power steering fluid reservoir? Well, if you own this particular style of Jetta, there is no power steering fluid reservoir because it has electromechanical power steering, which is not a fluid-based system. So that's one less fluid you'll need to check underneath the hood of this Jetta. Moving on to the windshield wiper fluid reservoir, very easy to identify. You've got a bright blue cap here with an icon that looks like a windshield on it. At your Volkswagen dealership, you can actually, actually obtain this windshield washer solvent concentrate. Comes in this nice handy bottle. And on the back, because it's a concentrate, there's a little table that lets you know how to dilute it with what amount of water, depending on the, the level of strength you want for this solvent. So I've actually already diluted some of this windshield washer concentrate. I've got a funnel. I've got my diluted solution. Now go ahead and flip open this cap. And there's a little screen in here. You'll want to remove that screen and be careful not to set it screen down. Have it with the screen up. Get that out of the way for a moment. Now take that funnel, insert it in the reservoir there. And you're just going to add some solvent. All right, and with any fluid, you'll never want to overfill that fluid reservoir. So once you've got plenty of fluid in there, go ahead and remove your funnel. Put that screen back in. You've got your windshield washer fluid. Now if for whatever reason the aforementioned fluid levels were low, the brake fluid level, the coolant level, you could head to your local Volkswagen dealership, have them take a look under the hood of your vehicle and let them know what needs to be done. But other than that, close the hood, fire that Jetta up and hit the road.